Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Sorry it's a little late, but maybe Vlog Tuesday will be the new thing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm really excited. We have a Costco haul and also we did a carving party at our house, so we have that coming up. And the very first thing I did was a uh, big mini pumpkin pies. So I hope that you enjoy. So I'm just using the recipe that was on the back of the can. So I'll stay tuned for how it turns out. Um, I'm gonna make mini pumpkin pies, so that will also be interesting. Rita's just waiting for his computer to update, watching some football. Um, but I'm really excited because we got this from our friend Sarah, um, and it has like different attachments, and we don't have like the big stand mixer, which is good because you know cabinet space is valuable. So gonna blend it up. Let's see if I can do this one handed. So this thing is awesome, but we have to do it in the sink because otherwise it will spray all over, I learned last time. Um, I'm just mixing in some milk, and then it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, so I'm not feeling super confident in this, but basically I found this cup. I don't have a cookie cutter. That was like about the same size as my muffin tins, and um, I just cut it into this dough, and I'm hoping it'll turn out okay, but uh, stay tuned. So I don't really know. I didn't really follow a recipe for how long to cook these. Um, so I'm just gonna put them in and I'm gonna put them in at 350 for like 10 minutes and you know, just kind of watch them and hope it works out. Um, and if it does, then I have more, a lot more filling. So we'll let you know. Okay, so this is the finished product. Reed and I just did a taste test. Turned out pretty good. Reed said that he needed cool whip. Um, but yeah, I think I cooked them for like close to 30 minutes and they're pretty good. My mom recently went to um, Hilton Head Island and she got Clover this cute little towel for her bath times. So this is me showing Clover her towel for the first time. Do you want this? Do you want it? What do you think? You love it? Love it, aww. Oh, she loves tags. <laughs> Reed is tired of this Costco haul so he's um, doing a little puzzle break. So I got some blackberries, which I'm very excited about. They look super good. And look how many carrots we got for $5. Freaking bargain. And then Reed really wanted us to get some pulled pork. And we've had this before, and you just put it in the crock pot. It's really, really good. So I'm excited. And we have, like, the Joe's barbecue sauce that we're going to put on it. So I think that'll be really good. And then for our party tomorrow, we got this meat and cheese tray, this whole tray, all our favorites, for, like, 10 bucks. So we were super excited. Look, it's perfect for parties and entertaining, ignore my nails, they're awful. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be super good. And that's, I think, everything. Oh, other than, I'll have to show you these joggers that my sister has, they came highly recommended. So she likes them because they don't get animal fur on them. And she has two cats, a black cat and a white cat. So I'm really excited to try them. So Reed really wanted some chocolate, so we got these. And now we're gonna try them. Recommended by your sister. Has she had them before or did she just want them? Yeah, she says she gets them like every week. Oh. <laughs> it's funny because she's skinny. Clover loves the boxes from Costco. Loves them. Loves them. Cutie. Wait, do I get one too? No. You said to Take share. One. Oh, okay. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. Salty. Really salty. <laughs> What do you think? Look at that caramel pull. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. Some other items on our haul were this Kirkland's Pinot Grigio. So keep keep you posted. This margarita, we normally get like the skinny Chi Chi's margarita, but this was a lot cheaper. So I'm excited to try that. And then this is our favorite salad dressing. And it was like two for eight bucks. So we were like, heck Here's yeah. my squeaky little pumpkin dog. Hi, Clover. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, she says hi, guys. Her tail's wagging. <laughs> Anyways, here's the spread. So um, our niece is pretty little. So um, we got these coloring sheets printed off for her. Got the pumpkin going. This white pumpkin smell from, what is it called? Bath and Body Works. Super good. 
Got our little letter board sign, always gotta have that. And some candy corn and these cute bowls. Over here we have, you know, kind of like an elevated Lunchable. <laughs> we actually got these from Costco, which is what I was talking about last night. Um, and then we got just like some Triscuits and Blackberries. And then actually we have like a little spooky drink over here. So um, these meals are really good. Reed's aunt actually taught us how to make them. Um, so you do apple cider, caramel vodka, and then we like the diet ginger beer, but I mean regular would be fine too. And then we have these cute little mule mugs. And then the best part of all of this is actually, so Reed's groom's cake. Um, <laughs> funny story behind that. I'll let Reed explain. It was left in the box. I don't know. I don't know what to say. No one can hear that. Say it again. Stop. So anyways, Reed is resisting. So basically his cake at the wedding, um, when we cut our cake, it was in the box next to it and we never opened it. So we never saw it. And unfortunately there were no pictures. We were hoping like, you know, that a picture had been taken. No. So anyways, yeah. So we actually asked her to remake it for this family party since it's, you know, Reed's family and groom's cake. pretty good what is it? a scarecrow right mm -hmm. nice. all right I also wanted to show you guys the finished product here's Reed's little scarecrow and here is my it's supposed to be like a moon with a bat and then another bat and then I have a couple stars in there um, clovers getting in there looking so shout out Reed's grandpa for the lights um, we didn't have any and he pulled some out of a drawer this morning so shout out to him bye guys thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe